you live in West Auckland? I do. It's disgusting. Ooh. Is that something you regret? Ugh, we're in West Auckland. It's a fucking piece of shit. I want to try and get to Ursula's house but without being raped or mugged. Right, let's go have a look in the in her bins. Oh, prawns and tampons. This must be her lesbian wagon. Kia ora, Ursula. Who's that? It's Nika Moore. I'm here to interview you for my show Unleashed. Hi, Ursula. Nice to meet you. You know what the judge said, you're not allowed to be here. No, 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 we... Cut. <laughs> Should we get pissed before the interview? I don't know. Aren't How you? We, what's the, the crew and I got drunk this morning when they arrived. Oh, my God, guys. Yeah. The sound guy was wasted, though. So. OK, well, uh, yeah. I'll... Have you he a was... bottle of vodka? I'll just quickly do some... Ketchup? Now, so. Yeah, no, I've got cough syrup. You, can you do a handstand? Yeah, it's easily. Just, you chuck it in your butthole. That's how you get... That's how the kids do it, isn't it? Ursula Carlson. I just want to check a few things with you before the cameras roll, OK? OK. Have you ever been in the mongrel mob? No. What about the young gnats? No. Ugh. Are you a really rabid anti-vaxxer and chemtrail enthusiast? No. Are you or have you ever been the voice of the toilet duck? No. Uh, oh, uh, did you once kill a lion with your bare bum? No, no. It was a rhino. You idiot. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we can start. Start now. Cool. Ursula Carlson. Yes. Comedian, author, beloved friend of the LGBTQI BLT FML KFC community. You forgot, eh? Te Easy. Sorry, A. Ted Talker, South African, daughter, lover and mama. Kia ora. Kia ora. You are known for swearing. Like a sailor. Like a sweary, sweary McFuckface, I was going to say. Yeah. But sailor will suffice. Yeah. I like sweary, sweary McFuckface. Do you, like, manage to control yourself in front of your kids or are you like me? If by like you mean to swear anyway and go, you're not allowed to say that, then yeah. yeah. Just yesterday in the paper I read, it's important to swear in front of your kids so they know, yeah. how, you know, how some words work. If something slips out, I'm unapologetic. Yeah. Um, but then, like, I'll just turn to the kids and go, you can't say that word. <laughs> so my daughter knows. <laughs> but then when she started school, yeah. she said to me the afternoon when I picked up, she goes, can I ask you something? I go, yeah, she goes. Is vagina a bad word? I go, no, you can say vagina. She goes, so it's not a swear word like you say? I go, no. I go, but you should probably not talk about your vagina too much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now, any big word, she's like, am I allowed to say that? I go, oh, that's yeah, yeah, that's terrible, yeah. Sue. You can say that. Where is the line for you? Uh, joke wise, yeah. I don't talk about rape and I don't talk about child abuse. I always say, if you've got a hilarious story about yourself being raped, yeah. tell it. Yeah. People come to a comedy show. Um, to sort of have a laugh and take a load off. Now you roll up with, with a rape joke and take someone in the audience back to the most horrific time of their life. Mm -hmm. Why would you do that? What do you think of all those hashtag me too, Billy Cosby's, whatever his name is? <laughs> Bill Cosby. Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> You're you too friendly. Oh, no, it's Uncle Billy. Billy. <laughs> Uncle fucking Billy. You won't remember anything of this. <laughs> You'll be safe. <sad. laughs> What's that? <laughs> See, that's a rape joke, so... Yeah. And you're laughing. Get off. Is oh, that your tit that. on that's me or your <laughs> stomach? No, that's my tip. <laughs> you live in West Auckland? I do. It's disgusting. But are you actually a real Westie or are you a Fogan? No, no, I'm a proper Westie. OK. I'll, I'll do a Westie test on you now. Okay. Look into my eyes and answer quickly. Have you ever eaten your own vom vom because you didn't want to waste the LSD or shrooms? Yes. Have you ever done a yard glass or 21 shots? Yes. Name a car that's good for burnouts that isn't a Holden or Ford. I don't know. Skyline. I would have also accepted an RX-7. Oh, that's your flash for here, mate. Jesus. Oh, sorry. I've never seen an RX-7. That's yeah. our researcher there. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. I don't yeah. have mine. Honestly. I've got a Mazda truck and people judge me for it. Oh, no, guys, it's an old one. <laughs> it's got over 400,000 kilometres on the clock. You oh, fuck off. What's the most bogan thing that you did when you were a teenager? 
Oh, there were many, many things. You know, like we would burn down the field across the road from our house and see all the mice and snakes and stuff from the field come um, into people's homes sad. and just sit there smoking joints and laughing at people running out and stuff. So then we're like, oh, this is just fun. But now I go, oh, we were bogan as fuck. Yeah, I didn't know. Bogan. Yeah. I hear you got a Netflix thing coming up. Yeah. When they sent me the offer, I went, yeah. And then um, I just said, this is the half hour I want to do. And they go, yep, sweet. And they just, oh, they made me take out um, one word. Lesbatarian? No, they go, can you just take out the F word? I go, there's so many fucks in there, I don't know if I can. And they go, no, no, the other one. Like, <laughs> they're so PC, they didn't even want to say which one. I just sift through and go, do you mean faggot? Faggot? Yeah. But it's just a bundle of sticks. And they went, yeah, take that out. I went, OK. <laughs> I filmed it in Canada. I already filmed it. Yeah, like... and I got food poisoning the day before. <gasps> and I thought I was going to have a shit right through my set, but... Um, luckily I didn't. Push me. Why are you what? so abusive? What? So you gave a TED talk about moving on and living a life with no regrets. Yeah. Looking back, is that something you regret? Mm, no. I thought doing a TED talk <clears throat> meant you were kind of a wanker or a failed life coach. Mm. If you were my life coach, where would you start? Well, <clears throat> for starters, I would clear my diary. <laughs> Coming, sorry, sir. Come on. Okay, sorry, sir. Yeah. Let's go get snacks. Yeah. Get some snacks. Yeah. Start off with a couple of beers. Oh. Do you yeah. drink? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm Marty. Park this here. We probably won't need it again. Right. Oh, this is tiring. I know. We're only on what par one or whatever it's called. This is the first hole. Okay. Nothing's par one. Whatever. Who cares? So you just kind of line it with a ball. Yep. And you pull back and let the club do the work for do, you. Yeah. OK. OK. I also don't know what that means, but someone has said that to me, so I'm saying that to you. Hurry up. Club off. Not a bat. I used to call it a bat for ages, but I kind of learned that that is not what you call it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Good story. Now go. OK. Oh, Jesus. And there you see, it's on the fair one. Are you part man? Because that went quite far. No, I'm better. <laughs> I'm a woman. Do you want to have a go? Yes, please. Could you teach Here me? Here we go. OK, don't swing yet, because yeah. I don't want to be a YouTube sensation okay. with you. And then you just swing it back okay. and then... Right oh, I don't through. want to hurt you. Yeah, do it. Hurt me. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, do it. Whoa! Wow, that was awful. Oh, no, I hit a bald old man. Oh, there's heaps of them in There's heaps of them, aren't there? Heaps of them in <laughs> I don't even yell four when I see it's heading for them. I'm like, fuck it, take it. Little, <laughs> But, you know, all women do that, eh? We all take photos of our vaginas, don't we? Do you find that Kiwis have a prejudice about South Africans, which is, which is totally <laughs> racist? Everyone knows it's South African. We're so... Everywhere now, we're sort of just kind of blended in. Sure you're blended in. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Mate, mm. I married a girl from Fielding. You don't get no, more blended blending. in. No, that's blending. that's blending. Yeah, that's, that's blending. blending as shit. I mean, I had to explain to her why her spoon was broken, and she's like, the spoon's fucked. I go, it's fork. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell all our friends, don't ever date a South African. Avoid <laughs> us. We're fucking crazy. Māori people are crazy too, so mm. I think that's why we have so much in common. I think there's a lot of crossover. Yeah. Because we call all the older people auntie and uncle. A Māori thing too. Yeah. 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 Uh, we're huggers. Yeah. You know. Get off me, uncle. Oh, that, that went different. One of the things I like about you, mm. there's only about four. That's more than my family. <laughs> no, I really like you. But I'm not attracted yeah. to you at all. I'm actually drier than the Sahara Desert down there. Mm. Yeah, me too. You keep it real and talk openly about things like miscarriages. Yeah. Why are we so afraid to talk about real fucking life? It makes us uncomfortable when people open up about stuff. My wife carried the babies. Mm. When we lost the baby, I just went through grief, you know. One in four pregnancies will end that way, and it's like, why are people yeah. talking about it? Because we announce, you announce to everyone, and go, we're going to have a baby, and everyone's yeah. happy about it. And then when you lose it, you go, just real quiet. And people go, they haven't said anything in four years about that pregnancy. <laughs> you want people to celebrate with you, you need them to be sad with you yeah. too. Grief it's called with support. You. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to chuck it into a shower. 
I reckon we'd be great in a woman's prison drama, like Orange is the New Black or Wentworth. <clears throat> but who'd be the prisoner and who would be the guard? You'd be the bitch. Previously on Cell Block Bitches. I want to put you in lockup. <clears throat> what the hell are you? What's in there? Nothing! What are you looking at? And Nico Rose Muller, you have been found guilty of unlawful simulated ejaculation. Sail away, sail away. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth! Do you want to go to solitary confinement for a little bit, eh? Was... Why are you what? so abusive? Right, get it out. Just chill I out. I wasn't hugged enough as a child. Yeah, Can I sure, leave? Sure. Push me. Oh, fuck you then. Bye. Sail away, sail away, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to... I look at those shows and I go, if that is honestly what 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 prison is like, all yes, lesbians will be in there. Awesome. <laughs> honestly, straight checks on white wine. I know. And they go, oh, turn gay for ye. Yeah. Because I always oh. say, when they sit in the audience, they go, I could never be a lesbian. Ugh. And then they have that second Chardonnay <laughs> and they go, although. And then after the third one, they go, I can fuck that woman. And then after the fourth one, as they come up for a selfie, they just sort of start fingering you. That's not how that works. <laughs> I can't stop <laughs> Actually, can you sit down? I feel threatened and I will tase you in your butthole. Do you it. Are, I dare you are pointing you. a weapon at me. You are pointing a weapon at me. Because no. if you shit all over my uniform, my mum will be angry. <laughs>